Hello, good day, everybody. This is your host, Clip, by the host of Clue Clu- 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 Sports. But I'm I'm live here at Leesburg, Virginia, Loud County area, guys. And I and I did address this, and I know I addressed this yesterday. You know, Brian Flores, regard Brian Flores' lawsuit against the NFL. You know, the G Man Broncos and the Dolphins. That team that needs to be a former coach of. That used to coach, by the way. And even though there's more details I'm going to tell here, but I'll and I'll tell you what my and he did. He was on Get Up just earlier today. And I'll and I'll get and I'll tell you what my response to all this is, what and what Brian Flores is doing, by the way. My reaction to this, I'll give you guys the fact that Washington Washington has a new name. Washington football's got a new name and logo that was just unveiled earlier today. Gives you guys for the Knicks versus the Grizz. That game will be tonight. Gives you guys into, into the fact that um, let's see here, four four G leaguers are going to be at the. All star game, rising star shots, by the way. This month is also going to be Cleveland, Cleveland. Get you guys to that for sure. In the cast of the Pinks, one to three. And others that's going to come by us. All right, so first things, so I'm going to start things off with the um, explosive bombshell that I mentioned yesterday, guys. And I did address on my YouTube channel yesterday that uh, Brian Flores was suing the NFL, was suing the NFL, the G Men, which I'm a fan of, Broncos and the Dolphins over racist coaching. Race, yeah, racist coaching hires, by the way, and this has been stemming for quite quite a while now, for decades that is, and basically what um what Brian Flores is doing, he's out there bringing the color barrier to allowing these co- these to having black candidates to get coaching opportunities, and obviously none of them has done that. The only coach you have, the only the only coach that you have. Is Mike Tomlin the only? Excuse me, the only black coach you have is Mike Tomlin Steelers. So let me let me let me and there's a, and there is a 58 page um loss that's in there by the way, and I'll say I'll get you guys into the during lunch that's going on here and there is and there is some allegations here that the Dolphins owner Stephen Ross attempt to incentivize incentivize on um, Flores to to make or lose. To tank or lose games after being hired back in 2019, with Ross offering uh, Flores 100k for any loss that season. Now Ross w- invited Flores on a yacht for lunch back in 2020, informing him that the quarterback arrived at the, at the marina for at the marina for for a meeting. Flores didn't go at all. He let he let the yacht, and Flores was well dis- dis- disrespected by the way. And held down someone who was a who was not compliant, not not compliant, and fought to attempt to work with. Flores was Flores by um was released was re, was released by um was released last month by the way. And um and the win in the winning season throughout the first back to back winning seasons, despite the first back to back winning seasons. The G Men were interviewing him last month. This, this is a sham in that which the interview was a sham was a sham by the way on that note. And the vacancy has no reasons for compliance, by the way, for the NFL's the ruining ruining rule. Flores had t- text message exchange with Bill Belichick, and you can see how that in the fifty eight page report or the lawsuit, by the way, says that. Now Brian Flores, the reason why uh, all right. The reason why Brian Flores is doing this is it's just for the lawsuit is because it needs to be changed. There needs to be some. There needs to be. There needs to be a color barrier, allowing black coaches to get coaching opportunities. That's what. That's what's just going on here, because I know. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people right now looking at this. They're going, the NFL's going to coming. So if Stephen Ross admitted, admitted that he gave 100k to have Brian Flores lose these games with the Dolphins when he was Dolphins coach, that's on him. And not just that, Steve Ross, if he admitted that he did this, his cargoes needs to go. And he needs, he needs to get that paint out the door. Because people because people look at look at Steve Ross, they're gonna go, that's it, he's trash. We know this. And Bill Belgian may probably be aware of this for sure, because the text message that he sent, the text exchange they sent with Brian Flores here, and this in regards to the um, interview that he just had. So honestly, this is just this is an interview, and that interview was a bit of a sham with the G-men. And it's to say 
that Brian Flores didn't necessarily, you know, uh, make the cut. Because I think that Brian Flores here is being disrespected. He's being tossed around. He wasn't getting a chance at anything at all. And other black candidates, whether it's in the college football, I mean, should his black college football coaches, which, which some are there, but there's not any in the NFL. I mean, you only got one black coach in the NFL, and that's Mike Tomlin. The NBA has numerous black coaches and players. NHL doesn't pretty much have any. MLB only has probably I see I would say a few I guess, but honestly, what Brian Flores is is breaking the color barrier for having these black coaches or black having black candidates make the cut to get it to get in to get in the coaching vacancy for the NFL. That's what Brian Flores is trying to do. Brian Flores is, is doing what's right. He's doing what is necessary. What's necessary in everyone's best interest. Everyone's black interest. I know the black community and BLM. Their limits are going. I mean, they're they're, they're standing behind. They're where they're standing with Brian Flores, which was which is what he's doing for sure. And I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of athletes and the coaches and staff members and refs are pretty much infuriated with this and. Needs to say that this has been going on for decades. I know athletes. I know a lot of athletes. I know a bunch of um, staff members aren't necessarily taking comments at all. But what what they need to do is file, file is um, stand with the suit as well. So the NFL is being exposed here, and this is this is on the owners. That's it. This is on the owners. So clearly. Brian Flores said that lo that trust was lost, and, that, and the other black coach didn't be qualified for the coaching slots. The Flores was gifted to be coached. Now he's supposed to be, now he's supposed to be given interviews or he's supposed to be given opportunities to be Saints or North Texans coach. So, to be to be honest, you know, there needs to be more, more black candidates. There need to be NFL coaches. That's what, that's what's got to be done here. And yes, this is a racist issue. This is bigger than football. This is bigger than sports, if you will. So you can say what you, what you want about this, but I'll tell you this right now: the NFL they had hell to pay. The NFL knew this is coming. This is not this is not Roger Goodell the issue. No, no, no. This is an ownership issue here. This is on the owners. And I'll tell you this right now: the NFL should be ashamed themselves. The owners should be ashamed. Stephen Ross, more importantly, should be ashamed themselves. Broncos. And G-Man should be ashamed themselves. All the other teams that do, that don't have coaches, black coaches, that don't have black coaches other other than Steelers who have Mike Tomlin, they should be ashamed themselves as well. And how do I feel about this? Destroyed, absolutely destroyed. That there's not there's not a lot of black coaches. Some of them got released. I mean, yeah, Marvin Lewis, who's you know, I think a Bengals or Browns coach, he was released. Tony Dungy was released. Brian Flores, who filed a lawsuit yesterday, he got released for sure. So there needs to be more black coaches in the NFL. So clearly, I'll tell you this right now, the NFL is facing the music right now. And they did address the statement, by the way, as well. So I'll tell you this, that the NFL, they have repercussions awaiting them. Now they're the, now they're the ones making themselves look bad. Now they're the ones being exposed. Now they miss, they, And now the NFL... Is going to apologize to, to Brian Flores for all these racist hires regarding the coaching slots, for sure. So I think it's in that Brian Flores wants an apology from the NFL. That's what he wants. Not just, and it's not just himself. It's just other black candidates as well. Because if a black coach or black candidate, you know, didn't make the cut, they miss the NFL may as well apologize to him. And Brian Flores wants that. He wants change. He wants black candidates to get in. So you're some. So if you're black, if you're a black individual right now, and this happens in the real world, whether it's in sports world, the real world, that's up right there because there's not a lot of black individuals that are there. Yes, this is a racist issue, which it is. So fans, you know, if you want to speak up about this, speak up. So, that's all I got to say about that, everybody. And I know a lot of details are going to sit right there. Also, some other things I want to get you guys into, by the way, that um, 
Washington football's got a new name, new logo. That's going to be the Washington Command. The new name is Washington Commanders, by the way, guys. It was really as of early today. That's all there's to on that, everybody. Also, guys, some other news I want to, I want to get you guys into. The Knicks are going to take on the Grizz tonight, by the way. In other news, you got the Bulls defending the Magic 126 115. got the Suns defending the Nets 121 111. You got the Wolves defending the Nuggets 130 115. got the Bucks defending the Wolves 120 198. Talk to us about that. NHL scores we have the Bruins defending the Kraken 32. Cavs defending the Pangs 4 3. Lightning defending the Sharks 3 2. Rangers defending the Panthers 5 2. So that's all there's to detail about that, everybody. Also, guys, some other news I, I want to get you guys into, by the way. Promise defending the SJU 86 82. This college basketball game. All Miss defeats LSU 6 72. Auburn beats Bama 181. Kansas City ISU 761. Michigan State defeats UMD 6563. And Texas Tech defeats Texas 7764. So that's all this for that, everybody. Also, guys, other news. I want, I want to watch my brothers out to um, Knuckles the Echidna, Duck King, Fang, uh, Street Fighter 5, Shakira, Christy Brinkley, Gemma, Al Alter Finn, Z Zosa, Mamet, Timo, Julia Fox, Dwayne. Chat, Dwayne Chapman, Natalie, Natalie, uh, Hal Crow, L.A. Bamber, Emily Rose, Lil Debbie, Southside Heather Sanders, Lauren Bushnell Lang, Mizzo Mack, Chris Bumstead, Alex Murphy, Mella Tremble, Barbara Murray, Christine Bleakley, Leah Rose, Donald Driver, Amer Harrison Smith, Ella Ross, Maria Clara, Alonzo, Aaron Hamoki. So, um, so my brother wish, and uh, Fiddy Tyson as well, Melina Adams, Sean Elliott, Nicole Meloch. So that's all this for that, everybody. That's all that you need to know on that. That's all I can say for that, everybody. Also, the four, four, um, the four, four G leaguers that are going to be in the NBA All Star Game, Right Star Challenge, will be Jaden Hardy, Dyson Daniels. You got um, Scoot Henderson and Morton. View champs. So that's all this extent about that. Also, guys, um, Kaylee Ray is going gonna, gonna to be facing Manny Rose for the Anxious Women's Saddle. That's next week on Sci Fi, guys. That's all these things about that, right? That's all they're saying about that. Also, guys, um, linebacker Omega will be arriving to sign for a speed battle for, in time for the Blitz for and Destroy team event, by the way, guys. This is all in time for Super 56 at SoFi with the Nick, when they take on the Rams versus the Bengals Super Bowl match at SoFi. So that's all I'm saying about that, everybody. So it's for that, for sure. So I'm about that. Number two, you need to know with that, everybody. And that's all I can say about that. And well, that ladies and that will do right there for the close sports work. Like, subscribe to the close sports work YouTube channel, Facebook page by any and all necessary. Let me know in the comments about that. Your thoughts and your reactions, and you got you got any you got any you got any comments you want to respond about Brian Flores' lawsuit, by the way. Let me know if, if what, your, what your thoughts about this are. What action needs to be taken? If there needs to be more black coaches in the NFL, more black candidates in, in the NFL that need to be coaches. Let me know in the comments about that. I will definitely address once that. Please be sure you speak out, everybody, on this. What are your thoughts on the Washington football getting a new name and a new logo, by the way? Washington Commanders, by the way. Let me know about that. I will address my shirt, buddy. Those Knicks, Knicks versus Grizzlies tonight, again, though, everybody, we'll talk about that. That's all I can say about that. Bruce Fitt, the crack, 32. Cast for the Pengs for the three. Come say about that. I will just my share, buddy. And that is more, that, and also there is more change and more equal quality for black candidates that need, that need to be that need to be NFL coaches. That's what needs to happen right there. So that needs to change, everybody. That has to ensue. I mean, it's sure it is Black History Month for sure. But what Brian Flores is doing is sending the example for everybody, for every black person out there. That is that doesn't have a black, that doesn't have a um, coach, head coaching vacancy. That needs to be so. So Brian Flores, everybody's behind you, twenty four seven. We're with you. We know. We know you. You know you're out there, and you know, explaining, explaining this for sure. So, keep doing, Jim Brian Flores. You got this opportunity. So this is your opportunity. So, so I'm gonna say, I'm back from breaking news. Trent Thompson's live today. So much, so much, a whole lot more in the close sports with any sports later. And there's you need to know on that, and more deals are gonna sit right there. So, take care, you guys. You guys have a good day. Please be safe with that. Bye bye.